Deep in the North Atlantic Ocean, near the northwest coast of Africa, there, there lies the autonomous region of Madeira, where 20 Bitcoiners are trying to achieve the unthinkable. Madeira is going to be competing with the likes of countries that adopted it already, like El Salvador. In this video, I will show you how we gathered people from all over the world to embark on a secret mission to try to convince the president of Madeira to embrace Bitcoin on the island. If this goes right, magic could happen here. Yeah. <laughs> Love this guy. <laughs> Look at him. Everything started with this Bitcoiner. His name is Andre and he's from Madeira. Strange feeling to be. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Bitcoin. Good morning. And he had a pretty crazy idea. What would happen if he tries to convince the president of Madeira to embrace Bitcoin? And then there was a chain of events, crazy chain of events that led to that. He was reaching out to a couple of Bitcoiners from all over the world and all of them came to Madeira to help him to make this happen. So the goal is to convince the president to embrace Bitcoin. And that's why we are all here. We started off uh, by introducing everyone around the table. And that's why I can say I'm very impressed by the brain power at the table. A, a fantastic group of people here, um, effectively trying to integrate Bitcoin into the economy uh, here and finding the best path to de-risk it for the government to be able to bring Bitcoin adoption here and build the future of Madeira on a monetary standard that's sound and, and attract global talent to Madeira. So really exciting first steps. We just discussed how would do we want to frame Bitcoin, how do we want to frame the Bitcoin mining, just to make a general overview about the strategy. And yeah, we're setting all this up now uh, at the speed of light to help the government pursue the Bitcoin strategy for Madeira. I'd like you all to now give a, ple a warm welcome to Jeff Booth. Yeah, so this is just going to be a couple minutes, and I just wanted to... So what you see happening here is happening all around the world and happening in, in smaller regions all around the world. And it's happening because more and more people are waking up to what happened in El Salvador, the tourism, the growth there, and, and there's... There's 170 million Bitcoiners in the world. It's operating like a, like a big country. And all of those people want to find different jurisdictions that they can build on to that are safe. So what, what you, and, and as that's happening, and so we spent a lot of time with the president, and, and, and he, he understands that Bitcoin is going to be the new base layer of the internet. It's going to be a peer-to-peer -peer internet in, in, that money is included in that base layer. And you have a choice. And, 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 and for a while, you might have to ride two horses, a euro and, and Bitcoin. You have a choice. But eventually, you're only going to have to pick, you're going to have to pick a horse. And so what's, uh, what's happening all over the world is people are starting to say, if I go early, I can create an incredible economy here for my citizens, and people will move in and talent First, people will travel here, then people will decide to, keep, to create businesses here, and, and, I can, and an island nation can now compete with Silicon Valley. And that was never possible before. And so you can see what's happening here. It's, it's de this is being decentralized, and it's de being decentralized all over the world because of that competition. So if you have questions for this, uh, there's a website. Andre is going to be leading this in, in Madeira. By the way, Visiting the place, what, a, what an incredible infrastructure, what an incredible uh, place to visit. What a place to, so I'm personally I'm going to be buying a place in Madeira. And looking at things like that as, as jurisdictional arbitrage in a world that's potentially getting un, unsafe in certain places, where could I move to quickly 
to pro pro uh, provide safety. So with that, if you have any questions afterwards, come and see me. Thanks. Yeah.